All right, guys, welcome to a video with me, the Stonk Dad. It is another wonderful Sunday afternoon. Um, so what we're going to be doing today in today's video is we are going to be going over a trade that I took on Friday. It is very fresh in my mind, and uh, we're going to go over every single thing that I saw in the data, um, gamma exposure levels, market net flow, and all of that in this video. Um, I kind of steered away from doing the backtest videos. I don't know if you guys like those videos or not, but uh, I did like making them. Um, but for the last week or two, I've been doing these backtest videos uh, on trades that I took and then kind of my uh, thought process as the data came out. And you guys will uh, in hopefully enjoy this video as I go through it. I did a video similar last week that got some good uh, reviews and uh comments and stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to be doing today instead of the backtest video. If you guys want me to make more backtest videos, um, going over the uh, convergence and how well it worked out um, with the win rate and everything like that, please let me know in the comments and I will make a, another video on that. But for this, let's get into the charts. Okay. All right. So on Friday, we had a very, very bullish day for flow. Um, we did get a pretty big pullback, but um, that was just a buying opportunity for us to get into some longs and ride that wave up. So what I'm going to be doing today is I will go through my thought process from market open to close and uh, my uh, ideas and thoughts and trades and stuff that I took on Friday. So right off the bat, market opens at 6.30 in the morning for me. It is 6.40 in this post. So... Um, you can see that flow was kind of uh, a little bit wish-washy. We had calls falling below puts, um, and then we were right at this 510 level, um, as you can see here. I guess you can't really see exactly what this line is, but this is 510, and uh, you can see here that this was a big negative GEX level. We did uh, fall directly right when market opened. We fell directly from um, about 511 is where we opened on SPY, and then we fell all the way down to 510 with this negative GEX level, okay? And then pay uh, close attention to that 509 GEX level as well. It's kind of small, but that 510 one was very big, and we immediately went there right when market opened. So there's that. And then um, about seven minutes after that, you can see that call flow started to pick up a lot, and we got that clean bounce off of 510 here. You can see uh, there was a big wick and a big candle following that. Um, which is extremely bullish. So right when you, right when I saw that, I was like, okay, immediately I'm going to be looking for upside targets. Uh, more often than not, it's going to hit this 512 level because um, that's the nearest whole number, and it's a gex level as well. I don't know if I posted about that, but um, I don't think I did for gex. Oh, I kind of did. You can see it here, um, 512. You can see that it was the next largest negative GEX level, which is a price magnet. And that was what I was looking for for these this upside move. So, and um, pretty much within 20 minutes after the market opened, we uh, just saw calls cranking, cranking, which is extremely bullish. So uh, probably like 95% chance we were going to hit that upside target. Um, so I was very confident in that move up. I did play that one. I actually got into two trades on Friday, which was the initial morning move. And then uh, I caught the, the uh, once we did pull back, and you'll see that a little bit later on. Once we did pull back, I did catch the move back up as well. Um, so you can see that uh, I got super excited. Let's go. <laughs> uh, you can see that call flow is cranking. It is at 16 or 17 million net positive, which is very, very bullish for how early it was in the morning, 656. And then uh, a minute or two later, we did hit that 512 level almost to the dot. And then we got news, which I did forget about. Um, but you can see that uh, call flow started to turn down. We got that rejection of 512, which is this level here. We kind of got a sweep above it. And then once that news dropped, um, we got the uh, big bearish engulfing candle uh, to the downside right there. And then that pretty much followed into um, the break of 510. And then uh, we had gray convergence, as you can see here, I circled it. Gray convergence, which indicates that the uh, strength of the trend is falling contrary to the flow. Since, since we had that um, bullish flow, price action was not following that. So we had that gray convergence there. And then you can see here we had that 509 level. If we did break that 510 level, which we did bounce off earlier, I was looking to see that 509 level. Um, which is the next uh, negative GEX level right there. 
Okay, I'm talking a lot here. Um, but that's just my lowdown of what I do every single day. I look at the Gex levels and I look to see where prices are uh, going to move. And then I look for good entries off uh, the Gex levels and then exits um, once we reach certain Gex levels, okay? <clears throat> so uh, I'm, I swore a little bit here. It says we're bullish AF there. Um, 25 million net calls, which is extremely bullish. You can see that we broke... Uh, or we didn't we, we didn't break we bounced right off this 509 level this is 509 we did get um, below here but you can see these very very uh, bullish wicks right back above that level indicating that there's going to be strength um, pushing up above that level okay so there's that still bullish overall overall just needs to hold 509 ideally that's what I would like to see play out is what I said at 758 in the morning so it looks like we did um, get a push up initially off that 509 level, and then we did get a uh, um, a rejection sort of off that 510 back down to that 509 level. So in my eyes, what I said there is um, ideally if we hold that 509 level, I'm looking to go long, um, especially with how bullish flow was. Um, you don't often see call flow get this high up to 30 million with how early it was in the morning. So um just from my experience, once you see call flow like that, you can almost guarantee that we're going to be going up at some point in the day or following a trend of some sort when it's that bullish, especially if it's just ramping up like crazy. And then uh, you can see that we're at 35 million at this point in the day at 838. Um, green convergence here. So we got a nice bounce off that uh, 509 level. This is 509 here. So we bounce there, there, and then here. Uh, and then we got that green convergence confirmation of upside continuation with the bullish uh, premiums curling up like that, which is extremely bullish. And you can see I did a little screenshot of my long position, 800 bucks on the day, which is amazing. And then uh, I also did see this actually didn't play out. Um, so this is something that didn't happen, which I was surprised it didn't because of how bullish it was. Um, but nonetheless, you could see that we had that 513 level going negative, which usually indicates a upside target towards that level. And I, I like to see that once you see um, GEX levels going negative a lot in this instance, it didn't go um, quite as negative as I would like it, but it did go negative. We didn't reach that per se, but we did hit that 512 level, which we did pivot off of earlier in the day. And that was pretty much my upside target for the day regardless. Um, once we hit that 509 level, I pretty much rode longs for the entire day. So I just trailed my stop up. And uh, once we hit that 512 level at the end of the day, or pretty much right here is when I took uh, the rest of my position there. Um, we did get a slight pull up, uh, push up at the very, very end of the day. Um, you guys can't really see, um, but I didn't catch that move up. I just hit that 512 and I was pretty much done for the day, which is fantastic. Actually, that's about like 20 or 30 points, maybe more than 30 points on ES for me, um, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, I, I just continue on. We didn't quite hit that 512 level, but you can see how excited I was in the chat. Didn't we say buy calls, go to sleep? <laughs> That's my saying. Once we have a call flow, this bullish call flow at 40 million, and then we still haven't reached that 512 level at this point. So I'm just kind of reiterating how bullish everything was. And, uh, that upside target of 512 is what I really wanted to see, um, which we did hit eventually. I'm um, right here once we pivoted off of it almost perfectly. So that was my trades um, from Friday. It was fresh on my mind and I thought I wanted, I uh, would share that with you guys on how I utilize the gamma exposure levels and then flow. Um, days like Friday are the days that I really want to take advantage of. Some days are very choppy and I kind of just stay away completely or take smaller trades. Um, but days like Friday are the days you really want to take advantage of them and be a little bit more aggressive on your trades um, because they work a lot more than you think they will. Uh, but yeah, guys, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please smash the like button, please. It motivates me to keep making videos. I have a newborn and a wife and all that, so it gets uh, pretty hectic here at home and it's hard for me to make videos pretty regularly, but I do make time for you guys on Sundays for the most part. Um, but if I get a lot of comments and likes and stuff like that, I will make more videos. Bottom line there. <laughs> so I will see you guys uh, in Discord on Monday and then throughout the entire week. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Should be a great one. We have lots of earnings. Um, but with that, I will see you in the next one.